plan to write a play about the most dangerous man in England. Better to die on our feet than live on our knees. Well, at the time it was illegal, punishable by death to be a Catholic priest in England. So obviously Sado is in disguise. So he's, he's, he's an incredible poet, an incredible writer, and using that poetry to kind of fortify the faithful who are, who are also in hiding. And, and, you know, England changed its religion overnight and you don't change the way that people practice. So much of the country were still Catholic. And in terms of his relationship to Will, he's, he acts as a kind of moral compass for Will, like a bigger brother figure. And is kind of trying to, trying to pull Will's focus into doing the same kind of work that he is doing and using his skills, using his writing to do the same thing and, and you know, to, to save and, and, and to promote the cause. I actually was very close to playing a very different part in the show, in the pilot. I, I, I uh, had some auditions for Richard Burbage, it was a completely different part. So um, I was very, very pleased to be playing Southall, who's a completely different character and really loved getting my teeth into. So I knew the show before that. But obviously Sutherland comes in slightly later and has a, a very, very different journey through the show. I was a huge fan of Shakespeare growing up and like I think the, the moment that I decided I wanted to be an actor was doing a Shakespeare play. I did Puck when I was at school. So like the older part of the school were doing Midsummer Night's Dream and they needed somebody small to be Puck and it was the most magical experience of my life up to that point and I was I was done. I was in. I'd love to do all of them. I mean I've done you know, there's all, there's so many great parts. Um, I played some of them when I was much younger as a student, and I'd love to have you know another another go at all the great great parts, Hamlet, Macbeth. You know, that'd be, that'd be wonderful. It's it, it's an amazing marriage, really, because it has the historical accuracy and the detail, and that world is so rich, and there's such amazing complex characters in that world. But it has a very vibrant modern take on it, uh, and you have that youthful exuberance and energy and a modern soundtrack that kind of really helps the audience connect with you know what is perceived of as but isn't very fusty material it's a very dynamic historical drama you know most period drama is quite staid and quite fusty this is incredibly dynamic and vibrant and exciting but still has the, the meticulous detail of the historical research in this show is incredible we were one time on set and there was a sign being made uh, a, a protest sign in the background I remember Craig was on the floor showing one of the art department guys the exact way of the calligraphic lettering on this particular sign and I was like this detail is there's so much heart and so much love and, and so much wit in this show that I think will, will please Shakespeare fans and people new to Shakespeare alike.